Welcome to You Beautiful Creation. I'm Tina Jackson, and with me today I have my co-host Renee Clements. Hey, Miss Tina, Ms. we're Renee. back. <laughs> Hello, good to be with you guys. Yes, yes, amen, amen. <laughs> amen. Um, so we are going to continue on with our surrender, surrender, surrender. We didn't get a chance to really talk much about uh, the in depths of it, but uh, we we were, did a lot of other good talking. It was a good episode, so I encourage you to go check it out. Um, yeah. We just building on it. One, two, three. Amen. Keep on going. Faith layer faith. upon layer. Faith Amen. upon faith. And there we go. <laughs> <laughs> and Miss Miss May May had to come in and see us. So she's, she's our a little kitty cat that's down low here. Mm -hmm. She'll probably jump up on the desk at some point. But uh, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> we are talking about surrendering and yielding um, our will, our time, our emotions, everything it is to the, the kingdom of heaven to God's kingdom and getting transformed and changed into the image and likeness of Christ. Amen. Amen. That's the goal, isn't it? Because Jesus said that, you know, mm -hmm. we be formed to look just like him. And in essence, you know, people say, well, what does Jesus look like? You see him in his word. Mm -hmm. This is him. And you see the father, the same nature, father, mm -hmm. son, Holy Spirit, all in one. Mm -hmm. And that's what we are to be like. Mm -hmm. You know, so many people say they judge themselves by other people. And I won't go on a tangent because I know she wants to get to this, but <laughs> okay. I want to say this is like, Jesus is the perfect example. Mm -hmm. So that's why, you know, you know, what would Jesus mm -hmm. do? Tina and I were talking about that just mm -hmm. briefly before we came on, but that in essence is the goal mm -hmm. is to handle how we handle things in life is how he did it. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's the best example. I mean, simplified, but it's true. Amen. So. Amen. So let's go ahead and we'll start off with the scripture of Matthew 16, 24. And then there was some other scriptures that were um, Matthew 8, 34 and Mark 10, 21 and Luke 9, 23. They all pretty much say the same thing that we're going to be looking at. So in Matthew 16, 24, it says, And then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. Amen. Whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Amen. Hey, Tina, can I read it? Yes, can I go read it for it. Amplified. Listen yes. to this. You guys love Amplified. Y'all know that. <laughs> you know me. Anyway. Wordy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's all good, right? And it said, okay, 24 says, And then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desires to be my disciple, let him deny himself, in parenthesis, disregard, lose sight of, forget himself and his own interests. Take up his cross and follow me. Cleave steadfastly to me. Conform wholly to my example in living and, if need be, in dying also. 25 says, for whoever is bent on saving his temporal life. Now think about this, y'all. Whoever is bent, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and saving his temporal life, his comfort and security here shall lose it. Eternal life and whoever loses his life, his comfort and security here for my sake shall find it. Life everlasting. Amen. So. That is wonderful. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, the first thing when we first said that first part of the scripture about deny yourself, you know, deny, and however you said it in your Amplified, um, it reminded me of um, those times of betrayal. Mm -hmm. You know, to, to lay down the way you would react to a betrayal situation or yes. when someone hurts you mm -hmm. um, instead of like lashing out back or defending or, you know, um, taking on the feelings of the, 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 the situation. It, it is those times of what would Jesus do? Mm -hmm. And I know it's hard at times because there's emotions involved, but there is a way where it seems to be no way that you can overcome that. And, and that, that, I don't know, whatever you said in that first, go ahead. Can you read that Amplified yeah, 24 yeah. again? Cause it was in there and I was like, wow, like that just was, you know, go for it. Okay. Okay. He said, um, then Jesus said to his disciples, if anyone desires to be my disciple, let him deny himself, disregard, lose sight of, mm -hmm. forget himself and his own interests. Yes, yes. Okay, so stop right there. Deny yourself your own interests and stuff. It's it, when he's saying that, it just it just really just speaks to me because it, it's about 
not taking on the care or the hurt or the pain because you know that if the person that hurt you or did whatever they did to you was, you know, saved following close to the Lord, they probably wouldn't have done it. Now, that, that, says, that doesn't mean that not, I mean, there are Christians that do stupid things and, and, and fall short of the glory. But if they were truly in fellowship with the Lord, they're not going to hurt you. You know, they're going to love you. We should all get to that point of being transformed in love and to be able to not take on that care or that pain, mm -hmm. but be able to give it to the Lord and say, Lord, here it is. I'm going to deny myself and how I feel. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about this situation? How do I handle this situation and give me that wisdom? Um, this is a part of that surrendering that I want to talk about because there's a lot of hurt and pain. People have gone through divorces. People have had bad things happen to them as children. Um, bad circumstances have happened that have wounded and, 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 and gotten people stuck in the muck, should I say, that have um, hindered the body of Christ. When Jesus says, um, you know, deny yourself and, and follow me, become like me, that's what being a Christian is. It's a little Christ-like being. So how can we do that? So, um, so go ahead. As you were saying that, Jane, it's like the Holy Spirit just kind of quickened me with that. You know, sometimes we'll do something um, like a knee-jerk, I call it, reaction, you know, like fast, you know. And then sometimes the problem what I've been seeing lately is a lot of overthinking things. And then in the mind, you know, like the battlefield being the mind, sometimes we'll like think different things will be shooting at us like arrows like the bible talks about but with your helmet of salvation on refutes those like uh second corinthians 10 4 and 5 says for our weapons say for instance like she said mm -hmm. her brother or sister in christ maybe have said something maybe not thinking about it because all of us are at different places in life i mm -hmm. get that you know and all mm -hmm. of us have renewed our mind more than others it just depends you know what i'm saying everybody's at different places but allow for that for grace because maybe they're not there yet, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, or they wouldn't do that. And maybe I believe if they are a born again person, a uh, child of God, they, they, they wouldn't intentionally do something that hurt you. They mm -hmm. wouldn't. Yeah, because it's most likely a sin that has come against, you know, that they partook in a sin. And if they were walking with God truly in fellowship, they're not going to participate in that kind of sin. You know, well, I think about Jesus, you know, when people would say different things, you know, and it, for instance, I mean, this comes to mind when I think about Jesus talking to his disciples, there's many things he wanted to share with them mm -hmm. and he even said so, but they weren't ready for it yet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so they weren't there yet. In other words, mentally, but I want to read um, second cool. Corinthians 10, four and five, it says for an amplified for the weapons of our warfare are not physical weapons of flesh and blood. But they are mighty before God for the overthrow and destruction of strongholds. Now, strongholds can be collective thoughts in the mind, okay? Inasmuch, 5 says, as we refute arguments, theories, and reasonings, and every proud and lofty thing that sets itself up against the true knowledge of God, and we lead every thought, this is what we have to do, okay? We, re we, we lead every thought and purpose away captive, into the obedience of Christ, the Messiah, the anointed one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in seven, it says, look at the obvious fact, that which is before your eyes. If anyone is confident that he is Christ, let him reflect and remind himself that even as he is Christ, so too are we. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What would Jesus do? There we go. <laughs> I love I, that's got to come back. Amen. Lord, bring the what would Jesus do um, motto back. Yeah. Because they used to bring bracelets. And yeah. Things it like was that. huge. Yeah. It's like 10 years ago or 12 years ago, whatever it was. It was <laughs> big. Went by fast. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but it, it, it really is a true thing. Are we doing what Jesus would do? I mean, mm -hmm. when people are beating the crap out of him and, and whipping him and spitting on him, you know, he's like, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Amen. Are we, as the body of Christ, doing likewise, becoming mm -hmm. like Christ, and not getting it offended, but to take it and spin it and turn it and begin to pray for your enemies, pray for those that despitefully use you, turn it and see it through different eyes, see it through a different facet, see it as them being deceived and that they need prayer. 
and even the worst of the worst, you know, and, and it is a process. I get it. You know, they, you don't know what they did to me, Tina. Yes, I get it. It's a process, but you can get there and make it a determination to become like Christ. Don't get stuck in the muck and let your victim uh, situation become your story for the next 20 years. No, overcome it and become Christ-like and say, you know, Christ, you know, Jesus knows that that was wrong. He understands. He, he, he's touched with our, our, our situations and our infirmities, but receive that, that love and the compassion of the Lord to comfort you and don't get um, angry and resentful. And then it changes your whole dominion toward, mm -hmm. towards everyone else because mm -hmm. you're all upset. It, it's it's about truly renewing your mind mm -hmm. like I mean it's a, it truly is it's it's possible I've done it and I can't wait to sh totally share you got with you guys eventually it's coming so soon I, I sense it so June. soon that I'm able to re tell you guys everything that's been happening in the last five five years you know it's so close and it's like oh I gotta have the permissions you know but I gotta respect others you know and so it's it's so so wonderful and it's a process but it's obtainable and and i could tell you i'm having the greatest joy now Amen. after forgiving and praying and seeing things through a different perspective mm -hmm. it's obtainable people mm -hmm. like you can become like christ i mean mm -hmm. I, I mean not that i'm that per and i'm not that perfect We're yet coming. but it's a process becoming well yeah yes. it is you know it's it's an everyday it's, process you know the lord says this to tina like he says through life's experiences do you come to know these things because it's mm -hmm. operative in your life as you apply his word, like he said, and we were talking earlier about what love is. The Father is love, mm -hmm. completely and totally, mm -hmm. absolute mm -hmm. love. Mm -hmm. And Jesus displayed that constantly to people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He did. Mm -hmm. He was the perfect sacrifice, mm -hmm. perfect in every way, mm -hmm. he did, without sin. Now, people sometimes, they're trying to fathom that, but he literally was and is still to this mm -hmm. day. But then again, you know, your mind has eyes. And a lot of times the Bible even refers to that. And some people, even the heart, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? They're all connected in a sense of how you see things then. When you stop and assess it and think, hmm, they normally wouldn't, you know, sometimes the enemy will speak through people. What she's talking about too, also about, you know, um, renewing your mind constantly, the spirit of your mind. Therefore, you will think like the Lord thinks. Yeah. He said, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Yeah. You have to let it though. Yeah. You have a give it place. Yeah. So that you can see things the way he see, he saw them and yeah. does still see them. Yeah. There's where the alignment comes in. Yeah. And your heart will actually break for your enemies. Yeah. Because you, you'll you'll see how deceived they are, how um in darkness they are. Well I wanted to say this too, yeah. Tina. It's not even them. Like right. like we were just reading, it's not flesh and blood. It's not the person. There it's their mindset that has not been renewed yet to know mm -hmm. not to say that or to use discernment or discretion. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. is huge. That's right. one of the fruits of the Spirit. Right. That once you're walking with the Lord for some time, even you'll come to know those things and execute them and exercise in them. Right. It's right. huge. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like, oh, okay. And it, it will equip you to be able to pray for that person. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Because like Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meaning they're just walk. They're like acting like fleshly people. Right. Period. Right. You know what I mean? Fallen nature. Yeah. So. Yeah. And, you know, you do, you get that discernment comes in faster and faster, the more you allow it to tap in and you listen to God and then you hearken to not take offense or yes. take that on. Right. You get quicker at it. It comes just faster yes. and faster. It's, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. I can tell you, it's awesome. Yes. It's, uh, get there, people. Hallelujah. Get like Christ and don't let things, you know, you were talking earlier about casting your care and we'll go there because that is a key ingredient to, um, to having this whole surrendered life surrendering i gotta have my vindication i gotta no no let god do that oh my goodness and it's it's <laughs> awesome it, it truly is i can tell mm -hmm. you i'm on the other side like <laughs> i'm on the other side to where i got the victory in the Already sense of there. i mean you, you don't you don't see the the true manifestations that have uh, is about ready to break forth Amen. but it's coming it's on his way i see it and, and and that's the beautiful part is the lord 
when you get close with the Lord and you're surrendering your time and your resources and, and everything as God walks you through it, he'll tell you the secrets. He'll give you the visions mm -hmm. of, of what's coming. And, uh, you know, or, and even if it's, sometimes it's good things that are coming, like you could see it like, oh my gosh, it's finally coming. It's finally breaking. <laughs> it's coming. And it's so exciting. And then there's other things that he may say that maybe break your heart. And it's like, oh, I don't like what that's coming. And he's like, yes, it's coming, prepare your heart. Um, you know, unless circumstances and things change, this is what's about ready to, to, to come. You know, it's like a hurricane that's coming and, and it's like, you know, there are some things that can possibly change and divert it, um, but there's other things that are out of your control because there's other people involved. But prepare, hunker down, get, pre you know, get prepared uh, and don't let it, rock you or move you. So there's two different ways that things go when you sit with the Lord, but giving those that anxiety and stress over to the Lord is absolutely wonderful. Cast your cares upon the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes. And also Hebrews 11, um, uh, I'm sorry, 10, mm -hmm. 35. Um, Okay, never mind. Okay, Hebrews 10 30 says, For we know him that saith, Vengeance belongeth unto me, I will recompense, saith the Lord. And again, mm -hmm. the Lord shall judge his people. So when you think about, you know, we leave that to the Lord and walk on. When you know Jesus, in, I want to say in his love walk on this earth, mm -hmm. he, didn't, he wasn't offended easily. Mm -hmm. And that's one, another one of the fruits of the Spirit, Tina, as you well know, mm -hmm. is it not to be offended easily. Because it's like, once again, that's your love walk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, keeping your eyes upon the Lord and keeping in, in what he says about things. And the Holy Spirit will constantly, because he's with us all the time. He's never, he's never going to leave us. He's never going to forsake us. So therefore, we know we can depend upon him to be our helper at any given time. Mm -hmm. Any given time. Mm -hmm. he is, he's a constant mm -hmm. that will help us through all of life, no matter what it is, spirit, soul, and in body. That is, is he's just huge and i think about 35 where he says he says do not therefore fling away your fearless confidence for it carries a great and glorious recompense of reward your confidence in the lord has to be steadfast with him mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know like you said don't fling it away foolishly to think oh lord you know you don't care about this oh yes he does mm -hmm. he said that which concerneth you he will address mm -hmm. if it concerns him if it concerns you, it concerns him. Mm -hmm. That's how personal he is about you. Mm -hmm. He cares affectionately for you, like he said. Yeah, and if you didn't catch our last episode, we talked a lot about how to make time for the Lord so you can hear him and then the different facets of it. So be sure to check that out if you haven't, uh, uh, you know, didn't hear last episode. But even, um, I'd like to even go to 1 John three sixteen if you if you sure. must, you got something else there. No, no go ahead. I got it written on my paper here. It says, um, by this we know, we know love because he laid down his life for us and we also ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. Are we laying down our lives for our brothers and sisters in Christ? Are we laying down our lives for the body of Christ and to display love, um, to display um, forgiveness, to display a way of um, making the kingdom of heaven here on this earth. That is a part of the surrender that I really feel like the Lord is saying is about surrender, hatred, surrender, anger, and begin to tap into love, loving the body of Christ, loving the church that some of you have been offended by the churches. I mean, I know I have had... <laughs> Some situations arise. If you've ever lived any time, there could have been an opportunity for that. Everybody <laughs> that has gone to church has had some church times and they're just like, oh my word, don't hold it against the whole body of Christ. It's not about that. It's about you and your relationship with the Lord. Amen. And if you're looking to that church building for your sanctification or your justification or whatever it is, your ticket Amen. to heaven, uh-uh, mm -mm, uh-uh, nope. It comes with personally get to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior because he goes, my sheep know my voice. They will not follow another. And the one scripture that saved me, um, I think it was in Matthew 6. It was, you know, Lord, Lord, in that day, you know, you know, they laid hands on the sick. They, they, they cast out demons. And Jesus turns to them and says, be gone from me. I don't even know you. 
and they were cast out of heaven. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. You're telling me that you can um, cast out demons and lay hands on the sick and not because you don't have a personal relationship with the Lord, not, not inherit the kingdom of heaven? It's not about being in religion. It's about a relationship with the Lord and being led, guided, and directed, being Christian, little Christ-like beings here on this earth. Yes, we are to lay hands on the sick. Yes, we are to cast out demons, but we are to be in fellowship with the Lord that he, we have surrendered um, our whole lives to him, you know, surrendered our TV, surrendered our, our devices, our, our electronic devices, surrender our children, surrender our husband, our, our, our spouse, you know, if you're um, a male listening, you know, you got your, your wife. Um, surrendering our jobs, surrendering all these things to the Lord and saying, Lord, what do you say? And every day seeking him, every day he will give you guidance. It's wonderful. And he'll comfort your heart and take your cares away. You know, he'll, he'll take care of them. Um, uh, so yeah, don't, don't take your care, cast your care. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. I think, uh, doesn't first Peter talk about that, but anyway, I want to read again what you said only in the amplified earlier. Sure. Um, 16 says, <clears throat> first John 316. Yeah. For, it says, by this we come to know progressively to recognize. Means you got to give thought to it, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to recognize it. So it's going to be very uh, uh, apparent. Yeah. To perceive, to understand the essential love. Essential love. Mm -hmm. Essential. Essential. <laughs> essential is, it has Amen. to happen. Amen. It's, it's Essential is a very powerful word. It's, yes, it it's, is. it's sustaining. It's, it's something mandatory. Mm -hmm. It's something that cannot be avoided. Essential is is mandatory. Yeah, Amen. There you go. That's wonderful because it's essential. It's it, you have to have it. Yeah. It's a key ingredient. Yeah. And that is essential love, like he said. Okay. Um, that he laid down his own life for us. I remember when I was um, te testifying to a man. We were coming back from Israel in the plane. And it was sitting next to me, so I had a captive audience, and there I you go. shared this with you before. I but I said, I don't know of anybody, anybody, that would lay down their life for me and die for me. And he did. And I think I personally believe, Tina, that that was the key to spark his interest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That said, you know, no, nobody would, but Jesus did. That's how important he is to you and to me, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is that he did lay down his life and gave all. He didn't spare anything back. Mm -hmm. He didn't like withhold anything. Mm -hmm. That's what, how much he loves you mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. You know, for you to surrender your heart to him and give your all, your life to him, because bottom line is this, you guys, what is there to lose? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is this life got all? And when I think about the rich young ruler, when he came to Jesus, there mm -hmm. was obviously a need or he would have never approached Jesus. Mm -hmm. And the very thing that what he said when Jesus told him, he said, you know, give all you have, you know, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. come and follow me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was an opportunity for that man to surrender his life to Jesus mm -hmm. and be able to have a much more prosperous life than he supposedly could have. You can gain this whole world, but give me Jesus, honey. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> That's yeah. what I got to say to you, because not that the, the Lord wants you poor and none of those kind of things. That's not it. Mm -hmm. The key is you having the Lord in your life to be the richest person in the world because once you have him, you have it all. Yeah. Because Jesus, this world is his. Right. He, right. All that's full. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, like you said, it's about coming to know him. And um, it's not about God as the genie in the bottle. Now, I know some of you, I mean, when you were actually saying that, I actually heard somebody that is watching when you said, I don't know anybody that would lay down my life for me or something. Um, I heard somebody in the spirit say, um, I'm a soldier and I lay down my life daily for you. And I want to, first of all, I want to thank all the veterans, all mm -hmm. those that do lay down their lives to fight for the freedom of the United States of America. Oh, thank you yes, very yes, much. Yes. And I do see that sacrifice that you are laying down your life and you are being like Christ in that aspect. And that is an honor and a privilege to, I, I pray that God, right now I just pray that God just really gives you a heart of what Jesus had done for us mm -hmm. at a different supernatural level right now yes. for all you in the military, because I heard that. I heard it when, 
I heard somebody say that, and I encourage you, if you, that was you in the comments, say that was me Jesus name that God. thought that very thought. I laid down thank my life for this country, thank you, and Lord. thank you very much. Woo, there's such an anointing. Yeah. I just ask the blessings of the Lord to come upon you, you and upon your family, yes. and let um, a greater thank revelation Jesus. of what Jesus did Jesus. hit you in yes. such a, a I just, I, I just feel like your heart is now breaking with this love and compassion of what Jesus did as you are paralleled with that. Yes. Thank you. Jesus thank you. Thank you Lord I just, God. I just thank you thank in you, Jesus Lord. name. Thank you. Father. But what, what Jesus did getting back to Jesus, because we're running out of time. Um, he reconciled us back to God and God is the God that um, wants to show his love to us. And that's that love that we're talking about because he is the spirit love. Amen. And there's a lot of ick in this world. And so I just want to, you know, like I said, we're, we're coming close to an end here, but I want to wrap things up. Heavenly Father, I just ask that your spirit of love comes yes, upon Lord. people that all bitterness, rage, oh, bitterness. anger, resentment, Amen. unforgiveness, Jesus. hurt, pain, just gets lifted off of them so that they become more like you, Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. They they have the, the, the feelings and the, the understanding of forgiveness. Jesus. Say, I forgive. I forgive so and so. I me. forgive yes. myself. I forgive the things that have been Jesus. done. And just laying and casting those cares upon the Lord. And some of those those burdens and hindrances have to do with other circumstances, whether it's health, whether it's your, your prodigal child, whatever it is. Just giving that to the Lord, saying, now give me a new perspective on how to see this to comfort me. And I want to be more like Christ. Thank you, Father. And Christ did what Jesus, what God told him to do. And so let that, let that transference happen, you, that you become that vessel you. and you can have peace in that storm. These are storms of life that come to us, but you say, peace, peace, yes. and then rise up and then have joy in this tribulation. Amen. Thank you, Lord. There's joy in the tribulation in the name of Jesus because you're more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And you are rising up. I just sense that somebody, some people are just, just Thank boom, you, boom, boom. It's Thank like you, light Jesus. bulbs are just going on, dun, 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 like firecrackers. Like I'm getting it. Yes. I get it. I Thank see you, it. I see it. The veil is now lifted from my eyes. I see things in a new perspective. That hindrance is lifted yes. in Jesus' name. And you decree you, that every day if that tries to, if it familiar spirit tries to come back, you say, oh, I recognize you, familiar spirit. Mm -mm, I don't want that. Mm -mm. And, and cast it away. Do something. Speak it out. Say, I don't Thank want you. that. In Jesus' name. I want to be like Christ. And then get quiet. Get with the Lord. Surrender some time. Surrender. I surrender. Delete those those apps off your phone if you have to. I, I the Lord told me to do that. He goes, don't even have Facebook on your phone. Delete that off. That's a waste of time. I only post things for this this ministry. That's it, pretty much. But anyways, be encouraged today, and we are already out of time. Again, Miss Renee. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Time flies when you're having fun. Staying in the spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's um, all cool. Be sure to check out some more of our videos that are on the YouTube channel, You Beautiful Creation. There's a ton of videos. There's over 250 videos out there, so check us out. And just remember that, um, well, first of all, I'm Tina Jackson. I'm Renee Connett. And you are a beautiful creation in Christ Jesus. Thanks for joining us. Amen.